Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. I want you to listen to this information, it's very vital, you know. But I just ask myself, why is it coming from somebody that is not Ken? You know, it's information from Ken, and uh, why Ken have not spoken to the beneficiaries all along? The money has not been disbursed. Ken used to interact. And uh, then when he interacts, you know now, people will criticize the, the broadcast and uh, people will be having hope, at least he's talking. So now he's not saying anything. A lot of people are not happy that is exactly what Tunubu did. You know, a good leader always give information and always interact with the people. You know, or when a leader start, start exhibiting a, a communication gap, it means that the leader has a lot of things to hide and is not really fighting for the progress of the people he's leading. Most times, African leaders are not doing well because sometimes things might not be that they are the cause of things. But when you communicate to people, they understand. And if you go to foreign countries, there's always a press conference, as in there's always a press briefing by the leaders. They're always giving in touch. They always question and answer, unbiased question and answer, you know. So when the leader doesn't give information to the people that is leading, any speculation they hear, you can't blame them for calling a rumor a truth, you know. So so that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So somebody has come out to speak now as a mouthpiece of Ken, as if things are, as if he's hiding from uh, people. So some people will be saying, some people are even saying, why does he have to come to give excuse for Ken? Why Ken has not come to speak to the masses? Let Ken himself come and explain why he has not come to speak to the masses. So just listen to it. We'll see on the other side. We pray that if there is money, if really there is money, because they are saying that the government committee have not called him and he doesn't even know the decision of the government committee. You see that the situation is very precarious, eh? So just listen to it. Listen to it. It's very important. See you on the other side. Good afternoon, everyone. Please, I'm very sorry. I can't capture everybody's questions all at once. So I have to make this voice note very brief. I have seen all the questions, but I cannot attend to every question. So far, so good. I must tell you guys the truth. So far, so good. Ken is not the problem for the delay of um, UAG grants. For the site of UAG, they have perfected everything concerning disbursement. Where we're having problem now is the moment Apostle Ken is called upon, that is when he will know the way forward. Because even if the government committee call him, he doesn't know the next move. It's only when they call him, they have a meeting with him. That is when he will address Nigerians. So his silence, please, don't take his silence as if he's... Don't take his silence as if he doesn't show concern about the masses. He does. He does. That's the truth. So just relax and be prayerful. Let the government committee call him. The moment they call him, he will know the next move. That is when he will come out to address Nigeria. But as he stands now, he doesn't have anything to say because him too, he's waiting for that call. Please, I can't go beyond this. I can't go beyond this information. Let's leave it like that. But the situation around the whole scenario, I believe they will call him. There is no challenge, there's no problem. If not because of his protest, by now, UAG would have been a history. So let's be patient with the process. Whatever they are doing there, please. Thank you very much. For supreme empowerment, listen to this. I've heard a lot of side talk concerning supreme, that supreme is waiting for UAG grants. That I don't know. But what I know, Supreme has her own empowerment from different donors. 
UAG grant is meant for the whole Nigerians. Anybody can apply for it. Whether Tio, whether Supreme, whether Joshafat, whether Ibrahim, anybody can subscribe to it. All I can tell you is Mama Supreme has her own empowerment. She has her office. She has her house where she stay. She can't be doing all these things. You are not telling me that she's waiting for UAG when she's not sure when the disbarment will take place for the things that she has put on ground that I know. The disbarment committee, the, is it the disbarment committee? The, the, this thing, how do they call it? The Thanksgiving committee. They are underground working for the celebration. Because the moment the disbursement takes place, the next move is the Thanksgiving, which is coming up by, I think, October, October, in Kaduna. So a lot on her side has been put on ground concerning her disbursement. For those of you going around saying she's waiting for UAG, you are just deceiving yourself. You don't know what is happening in Supreme Grand. You cannot sit in your comfort zone and be assuming nonsense, things that you don't know. We are close to her. We have been attending meetings with her. We have been seeing things, genuine things, good information concerning her disbursement. She told us everything how she got to the stage where she is now. So, keep your assumption to yourself. Hmm? Don't bring it to where, to where, don't bring it to where you fool yourself. Because all those right up I'm, I'm seeing in various platforms, you're just fooling yourself because you know nothing what is happening in, in Supreme. So, keep your assumption to yourself, please. For those of you who believe in her, I will once again congratulate all of you. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. For all the rubbish we've heard about her, but yet you still have that faith to believe in her. A big congratulation. It's not easy. For what I know what I'm saying. It's not easy. That woman is a woman that has a large heart for the masses. What she has done in grand community, no grand handler, I repeat, no grand handler have done what she has achieved in this country. That is why God is blessing her. That is why God is blessing her. I won't say more than this, but the result will speak for itself. The result will speak for itself very soon. Mama Supreme, thank you very much for not giving up for this fight. God will bless you, and God will bless everyone who believes in her, all her team that have been working tirelessly even the disbursement chairman, Mr. Richman, I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. I think I should end this vignette here. Once again, this is so sing.